A very warm welcome to all our parents and students of this great and beautiful school, St. Anthony's. We live in a long tradition of strong women who've led this community. Women who came across from Ireland in 1843, the Sisters of Mercy, who set up a school in the city, which has continued down through the centuries through strong women. And after the sisters, as you know, Mrs. Shepherd took over as the first lay head. And she has just left this school after 34 years of service. But I am very excited to now look at something new that God is doing. We have two new leaders here in our school. We have Mrs. Francesca Craig, who is our executive acting head. And we have Mrs. Catherine Hamill, who is our acting head of school. We welcome them with open arms and see what God will do through them to develop our staff and students, which will spread into the wider community here in Sunderland. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord our God, you give different gifts to each of us and you are pleased when we use our gifts well. Inspire us to reach our full potential and to use our gifts for the benefit of others. Enable us by the power of your spirit to grow in faith, imagination and creativity, living a life for others that is worthwhile. Saint Anthony, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is a real pleasure and a privilege to introduce myself to parents and carers as the new acting executive head teacher of St Anthony's Girls Catholic Academy. I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting you all in person at future events, which we very much hope will be able to take place face to face later on in the year. St Anthony's has a rich heritage and many distinguished accolades, such as being a world-class school. It is a school that has proudly served generations of girls throughout the Sunderland communities for many, many years and has been formed by the Mercy tradition. Our school is a special and treasured community and I am committed to preserving its unique character and finding ways to enhance and improve provision further. The warm welcome we have received from the staff and the pupils has been a humbling experience. And I hope that the news of some of the early refinements that we have made have reached you already. In particular, the revised school menu at lunchtime has already proven to be very popular with our pupils. Antonians are committed to excellence in all fields, academic, pastoral, sporting, musical and spiritual. We know that our students are blessed with many gifts and talents and it is my duty to ensure that every student fulfills their God-given potential and to become the best possible version of themselves. I'm passionate about ensuring that our pupils have a 21st century education which will prepare them to be leaders in the modern world whilst retaining traditional values of integrity and compassion. And while St Anthony is known as the patron saint of lost things, I wish you to know that your children are very much found within our community and loved and known as the individuals that they are. Myself, the staff and the governing committee will do everything in our power to provide the very best educational experience which nurtures the whole child. And I'm really excited at the prospect of working with our parents and carers in partnership to provide the very, very best for our students. Hello everyone. My name is Catherine Hamill and I'm delighted to be joining the community here at St Anthony's Girls Catholic Academy. My role is as acting head of school and that means I'm responsible for the day-to-day leadership and management of our students and staff. 
I'm really conscious that whilst COVID restrictions are still in place, I haven't had the opportunity to meet with you, our families, our parents, our carers, and so I'm delighted to be able to do that now. I'd like to reassure you of my absolute commitment to our Mercy tradition, our academic excellence, and our genuine love and care for our students. Our school motto is Sine Labe, and that means without stain. Our guide in teaching to our students and our commitment as staff is therefore to act with integrity, to treat one another with respect, and to show love to one another. I am very much looking forward to this opportunity to work with you, our families, and our wider community and hopefully welcoming you into school very soon. God bless.